Katie is on her way back from the store and we're gonna get supper started. We're gonna get out the fish. I've actually already got some sweet potatoes going in the oven. I don't really know if anyone else wants sweet potatoes with the fish, but I did. And this is gonna be a good supper. I'm excited to have this fish. This is fish that Austin and his dad caught, some crappy fish. This is gonna be some good fresh fish. How are we cooking these, mama? A little fry unless you want to do something else. So this was actually caught at the day of filming this, the day before yesterday. So it's pretty fresh. Mm -hmm, looks great. Nice and pink. And that was caught on Lake Lanier, which is not that far from us down in Georgia. I am not a fish aficionado. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. So I'm gonna chop these vegetables real quick, just so we could roast some to have with the fish. And then mama, what are you doing over there at a front? Instead of making a, like hush puppies, I'm just gonna make hush puppy, but bake it like cornbread. Ooh. Make it in that form. That sounds delicious. Of course, we got a roasted onion. Onions are good any day, any time with anything. At least according to us in this family. Mm -hmm. We do like onions. Yes, we do. And then these are just some snap peas that I had left in the fridge. So I'm going to go ahead and use these up before they go bad. They'll be kind of interesting just add something a little bit different here comes grandpa hi for roasting these kind of vegetables i just put some olive oil and pepper salt some garlic powder And then I just put them on a pan and put them in the oven. So what's the name of this bread? Well, it's kind of really, it's not like it's a real recipe. It's just, I'm just making it up because I'm lazy. Because <laughs> this is how I do it. I've, I've done it like this lots of times. Instead of actually standing there and scooping off the hush puppies into the hot oil and letting them fry, which are wonderful like that, especially Papa Tony's, his is the best. I just take the easy way out and I make my cornbread recipe like I always make it. And I add some onions and I add a little bit of sugar and then I just fry it. I mean, I just put it in the oven like I normally do in a hot cast iron pan. So I guess you could call it hush puppy cornbread. I don't yeah, know, something like that, yeah. And I don't measure as far as the onions or the sugar, just a little sugar. And it's the only time I, I normally wouldn't put sugar in cornbread at all, but hush puppies typically I have a little bit of sweetness to them. So I add a little bit of sweetness and then I just have my milk and my egg and my oil ready to go. So. It's probably, I don't know, about a tablespoon of sugar or something like that. And I'm gonna start with that amount of onions and then put my stuff in. I think that looks pretty good. So now I just have to get my hot pan out and I'll put it in. I'm gonna bake it at 450 for about 20 minutes. I'll keep an eye on it just till it gets brown on top, but 450 for about 20 minutes. So now, Mama, you gonna make beans? 
I'm gonna make mountain beans. It's Papaw's recipe. I'm sure other people probably do it too. But I'm gonna cut up this onion, add it to what I've got, and I'll cook the onion in some oil, olive oil, till it's just lightly browned or around the edges, just kind of get it tender. And then I'm just gonna pour in some pork and beans. I love pork and beans. And Papaw calls those mountain beans. Mm. And they're good. Pork and beans are good anyway, but like you said. I didn't really know that I liked pork and beans until, I don't know, recently, I mean, until I was born. And I was like, oh, pork and beans, this is good. Yeah. So I've just added a little bit of olive oil. Now I'm going to put my onions in. Well, actually, I'm going to put it on and let it heat up a little, and then I'm going to throw the onions in. These are banny eggs. Look how little they are. We got these from little Quincy at, at Satterfield's. These are adorable. They're so little. So they're getting the batter for the fish ready. You pour them flour in the bag. Uh-huh. Also, Katie and Austin are on their way this far into the video. People are probably like, where are Katie and Austin at? You're just having a fish fry with your parents? What's going on? Well, Katie went to town and was going to be gone 30 minutes, and she's been gone about two hours, yeah. which is typical Katie. I think I did say in the beginning of the video she was at the well, there's store. More. There's plenty more. You know. And then Austin is coming from work, but they're just not here yet. Just wanted to clarify that. Add on a little salt and pepper. Just let them cook for a few minutes. And then we'll add the beans. Okay, we've let them cook just a little bit. Now I'm ready to add the beans. Very, very simple, but really good. And we'll just leave these warm and kind of turn them on low until we're ready to eat the fish. Pop off some mountain beans. That looks awesome. You wanna taste it? Yeah. Don't have to ask me twice. More butter, more butter. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Mama. Good. Oh yeah, tastes like a tastes like a hush puppy, mm -hmm. kind of. Okay. That's super good. Just an easier way to do it. Olive, who's here? Who's coming to see you? Who's coming? Who is that? Is that your daddy? Who is that girl? Hey, Ollie. Who is that? Hey, darling. Oh. Hey, you excited? Bite and starts immediately. Yeah. Did you have a good day, honey? It's okay. It was Monday. True. Yeah. How was your day? It was good. Good. You ready for some fish? Oh, yeah. Gonna be good. You're full of it, girl. Look at that big paw. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. It's still hot. You got here in time. <laughs> Is that good? Mm. That's good. Cool. What's different about that? Onions in it. Oh. It's like nice. hush puppy and cornbread. Mm. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Dad's just finishing soaking the fish and then we're gonna get them ready to fry. You're so silly. Sorry, I ruined that thing. That's the take or keep thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I don't mind. Spotlight on Corey. <laughs> I want to know what these little eggs will look like. I thought the yolk might be real orange. Where is it from? The little banny eggs. I'll just put the milk in there. Is that good? Uh, One more. A uh, couple more. Because they're little babies. How come you don't crack them on the side of the bowl? I just think it's easier, but I don't even do it any way you want to. Hmm. Which way do you do it, Dad? I crack them on the side of my head. <laughs> the side of your head? Your daddy's tough like that. No, I'm always just cracking them on the side of the bowl. Well, that's fine. I've, seen people, I've seen people that's neat. They're much neater at it than me. They'll take a case knife and hold it in their hand and make a nice... Oh my gosh, I can't do that. Are the people that can crack it and open it with oh, yeah. one hand? I've done that before. I have. I have a video. We were standing right here at Thanksgiving. I did it. Not this year, but the last. You have a video? Yeah. I've not seen it. If I find that clip, I will put it in here. It's being edited. <laughs> it's yeah. not. I did it with one you hand, I swear. It. Yeah. It's one of those really poorly edited clips <laughs> where it's like a ghost hand coming in. Yeah. I swear I did it one hand. Emerald and Gossie. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Alas, that's what we've got. Trying to do really cool and do this one handed. <laughs> Are you uncomfortable with the camera on you this long? Am I what? Uncomfortable with the camera on you? Yeah. Okay, Austin votes to eat the fish raw. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Nobody's ever gotten something from fish. Uh, salmonella? Am yeah. I in your way, Dad? Uh, not unless you just don't want to eat. <laughs> I'm out of the way. How hot does this need to be? 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, it's already at 120. About, three, about 350 ish. So I did not want my fish fried and Katie does not either. So we're just gonna do it in a skillet on the stove here. So what I always do when I'm cooking fish, no matter what, is I will take a paper towel and wipe it down really good. So that way it's not kind of wet or soggy. And then I'll put seasoning on it and go ahead and put it in a hot pan. If you do that, it just ensures that it cooks better. It's not gonna get soggy. I even do that with chicken too sometimes. And it just allows you to get it kind of a nice sear on it. As far as seasoning goes, I'm going to do salt, pepper, garlic powder, parsley, maybe some Old Bay if we have it. And I'm just going to coat each side and then I'll go back and coat the other. 
I didn't really know that Katie didn't want her fish fried or we would have kept a little bit more out. That was a lot of pepper than this, but this will be okay. This will be plenty for us because we're having other stuff too. Now I'll flip them all. First I'll try to kind of rub it in. And I'll flip them all and do the other sides and then by then the pan should be getting hot. I did find some old bay, so I think I'll just go ahead and put it on them in the pan. Katie is back. Katie was gone, running errands, and let me tell you something, everybody and their brother was out. It was really crowded in town. But I did all my errands and I come back, so that's good. Yeah, that's all that counts. This fish is gonna be good, I think. I think so. I will show everybody in my mento, just stay right there. My cake. Everybody's asking about the cake that I made for mom and dad. The carrot cake that I made for mom and dad. Um, over the weekend, I just decided that I wanted to make a carrot cake because I uh, ended up getting a bag of carrots not knowing that mom already had some, like a big bag, because I like to chop them up and cook with them. So I thought, well, we have a surplus of carrots and I don't want them to go to waste. So I thought I'll bake a carrot cake. I was just gonna Google a recipe and then mom's like, what are you doing? Duh, granny's got a recipe. And I was like, that's a good point. So I used granny's recipe and made this carrot cake. Um, I did one little thing different for the uh, frosting. This is a cream cheese frosting that I did. My secret to the cream cheese is, and it's just, uh, are you wanting a bite? Maybe I'll eat a bite too. Of course, mm -hmm. it's better when it the first day. Have you had any? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was better the very first day. It's good, but and when it was hot. But so the secret to the cream cheese icing for me personally, I like it to taste very uh, cream cheesy. I don't like like a super sugary icing. I like to still be able to taste the cream cheese. So the only way to achieve that, number one, don't load it down with sugar or powdered sugar because it just gets too sweet. If if that's not what you like, I don't like the sweetness. And then I put a little bit of vanilla extract. Corey made the vanilla extract. I put a little bit, a little bit of sugar. This was like an organic raw sugar. And then I put a, just a tiny, tiny, like only one cap full of milk to help whip it a little bit. And then the secret ingredient, lime juice. Ooh. Just a tiny bit of lime juice because it gives it just this ever so subtle citrus flavor. So. And there's really no recipe, like no exact like teaspoon or anything. I just throw it all in there and eyeball it and mix it up and hope it turns out good. So that's how I did the icing. And it's actually, actually this cake is really not half bad. That'll be olive. Yeah. You want to pet a little thing, honey? <laughs> yeah. And one of them run out of the current. And got right to it, and I felt the bump, and then I seen him. He just wheeled. And yeah. Well, he wasn't committed. He just ran right. out there and bumped it. Yeah. You hand them to me, dog. Right, you two. These. Yeah. Look, this is what I got. Swim baits. Nice trout baits. Where'd you get them? That's what I call oh, them. Really? Mm-hmm. Exactly. These are cool. my trout magnets. But here's what I'm what I'm most excited about. I had no idea they made these. Those are baby gulps. Oh yeah. Hmm. Where'd oh, you get these? Walmart. Those are tiny. Me and Nick fished with those two and a half inches, but that's uh, the little bitty ones is good. And I got, this is not very exciting, but I got some 132nd ounce jig heads because I don't have any. That, I might have used them all, broke them all off. And some colored, the hooks on these are actually colored. I'm not mm -hmm. crazy about that, but whatever. And then I got more 116th jig heads, and these are actually smaller, shorter hooks. So that's actually more of what I was looking for, but I did not have any. I also got bobby pins. I don't think the fish are interested. Mm -hmm. And I got some six pound test. That's it. What else did you get? Look, my friend Trey sent me this. This is beautiful and I love it. Cool. 
Dad's gonna go ahead and make his plate. Mom actually took a plate to our grandma, to Miss Cindy. So you go ahead and make your plate. No. She's gonna be back soon. I'll make it for you. And I say, you don't get any fish. <laughs> That's just the reason I'm getting that much. Don't <laughs> judge. I'm not judging. It's just the first round. Get the tartar sauce. Sweet potatoes, you can have one if you want. I don't particularly think I want one. If that's alright. Yeah, you don't have to if you don't want to. And then there's some vegetables over on the toaster. That's what I want. I mean, <laughs> I can warm them up, but I should have told you that first so you could put those on your plate first. It's okay. I'm going to leave a bit of lemon juice. See Katie's legs and feet there in the background? A little bit of lemon juice on the fish is good. Oh, yeah. And there we go. All right. I'm just going pure fish, really. No fish for you either. Put your plate down here where I can see it, baby. Sorry. It's okay. Where that, boss? <laughs> just bring it down where I can see it. Where's that? Just, honey, look at where the camera's pointing. Just bring it down. I can't put it right there, Hunter. I can't get the fish. Honey, honey that's fine. I just meant, I just it. meant go slower so I can get him. It's just good right here. It's Get you some lemon juice. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Now you want some mountain beans. Get some beans, and that's probably going to be about it. There's your sweet potato back there if you want, but you don't have to. I'll be coming back for some more fish. Oh yeah. Looking That's good. That's a start. Let's do it. Caught two days ago. Katie's turn. I have a little bit of this fish. Little sweet potato. Where? I don't want beans. I don't do beans. I'll go get some vegetables up. I like this hush puppy cornbread. And these veggies are good. The sweet potato's good. Of course, the fish is. Pretty good. It's all good, yeah. What are you drinking with it? Never seen that before. Um, I get these at the store. At Ingles, occasionally I drink one when I'm feeling sporty. <laughs> Dad, you are like almost totally done. I'm hungry. <laughs> good though? Very good. Austin, you're done too. I wasn't worth the, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> was no, it good? I was good. Is it good? I was really good. Good. I'm going for more. I'm still eating, and I'm sure Mom's probably on her way, and she'll come back and eat with us too. Mama's back. Time to eat. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Looks great. Now, I don't want nobody commenting saying, how dare y'all eat supper without your mama. I had to had to take some food to Miss Cindy. We ate it all. Love Papa's mountain beans. They were really good. Want that last sweet tater? Yeah. What? Yummy. So apparently, Katie and Dad have been watching this same Barrett Jackson. This is on YouTube. It's 12 hours long, and they said they're just halfway through it. They've been watching it for days. They've been watching it for days. Oh my gosh, $485,000. I don't even like that Is that guy even saying anything? I know he's great. Listen to him. I mean, like, I can hardly even understand what he's saying. I just get a few numbers here and there. It sounds like he's shifting gears. <laughs> okay, y'all, this is the one that we're going to buy, right? Oh, yeah. I'd like to have it. If we didn't have that LS in, I wouldn't have it just for that. Got an extra million dollars sitting around. <clears throat> Might have some hidden attic. 
If you have an extra million dollars, you should be buying me all the chocolate Justin's peanut butter cups I want. Mm -hmm. That is nice. They did it right. They did a black and two. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite I've seen so far tonight. All right. I was going to mm -hmm. say, how, how high do you think this is going to go? This will be one of them 500, 600 uh, Yeah. That's a mean looking car. Well, and the numbers match, and it's the original transmission, mm -hmm. so that's part of why this is scooting on up there. That thing would turn inside out on you, wouldn't it? Wow. Mm. I'm surprised that's all it went for. We're coming outside after dinner. It's actually kind of cold, y'all. I it's mean, been it's cool. been cool. I mean, it was really warm, and now it's kind of cold out. Well, I mean, it was being, it was like 85 degrees every day, and this is probably 60, maybe 55, something like it's that. It's cold compared to what it was. It did, does feel kind of chilly, huh? Yeah. Supper was delicious. It was delicious. Now I want some cookies <laughs> or something. Some sweet treats. Mm. I want something sweet. What was one of your favorite things that you did today? Um, I actually started my morning off by going and visiting Granny and she had made a strawberry shortcake and it was 10 o'clock and she was begging me to try some, so I did. I ate cake at like 10. That was pretty much my breakfast. That is tasty. So I act like she had to twist my arm to do it. <laughs> it was fun. I liked that. That was a good part of my day. What about you? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Maybe supper because it's just been super tasty. It was good and it was fun too, huh? Yeah, and I like hanging out. Okay, having everybody together is nice, huh? I want some cookies. Let's go get the cookies. All right, here are my goodies of choice. I've got some cookies and some chocolate. I was too full for the carrot cake, unfortunately, but I love these cookies. I like those cookies, maybe some chocolate. I don't know, I'm still pretty full. These are so good because they're soft baked. I already had my treats. I can't have another cookie. As you're getting another cookie. No. <laughs> yeah. I can't eat another one. You want a cookie, baby? No, those are gross. Blah. You don't like these? I'm just kidding. Do you want one? Nah. I do. Thanks. You don't really like these? Mm. Look, I got Chips Ahoy waiting in there, so. Oh, I'll bring you some Chips Ahoy, doll. It's too cool for school. Did everybody enjoy their supper? Yes. So good. Yes. So good. <laughs> it was very good. Delicious. It was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess we got to end this video because all it needs to go out. Bye. From our family <laughs> to yours, God bless you, God keep you. We'll see you on the next video. Bye. We're out of here. I'm out. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Thanks, boy. Let's Thank see you. the only thing we ain't cleaned is that pot outside. Mm, yeah. <laughs>